Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's uh, NHL slate, which is a really big 10-game slate. And uh, as it often happens, when you have a 10-game NHL slate alongside of a very short NBA slate, it makes for pretty big uh, prize pools. Um, it also attracts, you know, some some of the more casual players looking for um, looking for more action than a four-game NBA slate will afford them. So uh, I really like these slates a lot. Um, and again, we I think we found a pretty good process for at least the earlier looks, which is still considered an early look being about you know, still several hours before lock. Um, and that would be first looking at the team to totals, then um, proceeding to the projection models and then building kind of a single entry or kind of a single lineup just without doing any calculations at all. Uh, and then having Saberson come on out and just do its thing and create some uh, MME builds and some MME kind of portfolios of lineups that hopefully, you know, I don't want to say hopefully, but be interesting to see whether they match our uh, our attempt uh, without using them. Uh, nonetheless, let's again go to the, there's the DraftKings uh, slate, but excuse me, it's the DraftKings lobby. We'll pull up the, the lineup in a minute. Let's look at the various models we'd like to look at for team totals and First thing I'll look at is, is Saberson, and let's just see who they have rated here. So they have a Rangers at 3.6, and then Colorado at 3.6. Toronto all the way at the top at 4.0, and then Edmonton 3.5, Devils 3.7, Washington 3.7. So they do have, have Toronto slightly favored over those others. Um, and again, uh, while it doesn't always work this way, it, it, goals usually – correlate very well with fantasy points. So it's a good idea to get an idea of which teams, you know, rate to score the most goals, which teams rate to have the most fantasy points. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean we'll be able to play people from that team because it was, you know, it depends on the salaries and all that, but it's good to have an idea of what we want to do. So that's where Saberson comes in. Now, um, Daily Rota, who I look at from time to time, well, I look at every day, but, they have Carolina again at 3.8, Rangers at 3.8, Devils a little higher at 4, Philly at 3.8, Toronto again at 4, and Washington. And then they have Edmonton a little bit higher. So we'll add Edmonton to the mix. So we have Edmonton, Washington, again, Toronto, Devils. These are the same names you're going to see, you know, Carolina, uh, all approaching 4, if not at 4, and New Jersey. Uh, let's look at uh, a daily face-off. Uh, let's see what they have to say. Um, implied goals, Toronto at the top at 3-8. Then a drop down to the aforementioned Capitals, the aforementioned uh, Hurricanes and Devils, the same crew. So that's these are teams we're probably going to be looking at. You know, Toronto, Washington, Carolina, Devils, Rangers. We always have to consider uh, the Oilers as possible. So although it looks like daily face-off doesn't really like the Oilers team total too much, but we'll – We'll take a look and see how that, how the uh, how the projections uh, think about it. So here's our projection model for today, which takes into all different models in the industry. I just added a new one to the list of models that I track. I did a little bit of back testing and and, and considered it worthy enough to throw into the mix. Um, and let's take a look and see. So again, we're, we're rating these guys by a lot of different metrics, but the most important is going to be sheets value score which combines both point per dollar and uh, and uh, just raw points. Um, and what we're trying to do, again, is just kind of gaze at this board and just see if we can't find a cluster of teams or a cluster of players from the same team um, near the top, because that's what you want in hockey. You want guys that are on the same team because there's, you know, it correlates. Uh, hockey is a very correlative sport. Um, one guy passes to the other and they score. Everybody gets points. Everybody's happy. Hooray. Um, and then with any luck, we'll have them be from the same either, either even straight line or power play line or both. So let's uh, let's see what we look at. So the first thing I look at right off the bat is I see Toronto, uh, Austin Matthews right at the top, um, and then Bunting right there in the top five, and Nylander right there as well. So it looks as though um, at least those top three Toronto guys are guys you want to try to get in your lineup. Now, you don't see a fourth, 
The fourth guy you see is Engvall, who is on the second power play line, a third even straight line. Um, so, but uh, these Toronto guys are showing up. Next thing I notice, well, the first thing I notice is that Saros at not 6,900 as the top projected goalie on the slate for Sheets value score. This is, this is really big, you know, because I love to have uh, cheapo goalies. So let's we're gonna make sure to try to get Nashville unless let's just see who we've been playing against here. Um so Nashville's playing Carolina. So what I, I I'm I mean, all else being equal, which it never is in life, um, I would uh I would consider a uh, um, even fading Carolina just so I can get this cheaper goaltender. And, and, and remember, Carolina's going to have a good team total, so they're probably going to project well. So you're probably able to get good leverage um, playing uh, Saros as goalie. And then you'll see, by the way, that you don't even see that many Carolinas, if at all, in this on this sheet. Um, so this, I think this is a really strong start, is to play Saros as your goalie. He's going to probably face a bunch of shots, and it's scary. But that's the way you rack up fantasy points. You know, you risk giving up goals so that you can get a lot of saves. All right. So that's one thing. Uh, so there was Toronto. And then what's what's Nashville doing? Uh, well, not really Nashville, but look at Washington. Washington, I got three guys in the top, which is Mantha, Gustafson, and Ovechkin. But Mantha's not on the right line, so that doesn't really work. Um, let's look at the Devils. I see a couple of Devils here the first line but only two uh Edmondson's all the way down here on the list um I do see that Tatar is one of the devil's guys so you had do have three plus he's here so it looks as though New Jersey is is probably the leader because even though they're not all the way at the top you can get four of them in now again you'll, you'll notice it's not exactly the normal you know um analytical way of, of, of doing the analysis but remember that all this the analytics and all of the the data has been factored in already to the projections and factored in already to the sheets value score so we're looking at this this is the end result of of all the crunching so we could we can be very what was the word i'm looking for pretty right-brained about this you know and and, and don't need at this point to bother with that with the numbers. We can just gaze at this and say, huh, one to be four devils in our in our sights. Let's go. You know? Um, so that's what I think I want to do. I want to try to build with Toronto with, with, with the Devils. And then I'll try to build with Toronto and then we'll just see kind of how it turns out. Um, so let's take this off and we'll put in our lineup, uh, draft teams lineup. Uh, slate here, and we'll start with Saros and goal, as I already mentioned. You already know he's playing. That's good news. He's probable. So let's just start piling them in. You want to start with Devils, or we'll start with Toronto? Let's start with, with the Devils. So, uh, just because he's the first guy listed, uh, Dougie Hamilton, put him in. Then we'll put in Jesper Bratt, who's also, again, 1-1. One, one. When I say 1-1, one, one, I mean first power play line, first uh, First, uh, even straight line. And then um, the other devils are Tatar. Mentions. And who was the fourth? Oh, I didn't get to four. Brat, Tatar. No, I did not get to four. I just got to the three. Sorry. So, oh, Hishia, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, this year, Brad Tatar, Hamilton, Saros and Gold, he hit 5,100 a man. So, again, there's a couple of ways you can go from here. You could try to make another three man stack and then have your one off, or you could try to make a five man out of the Devils. Um, what I'd probably want to do, obviously, is just complete this kind of power play stack. Let's do it both ways. Let's see who's the fifth guy on the power play for New Jersey. And this does kind of swap a little bit, especially the defensemen. Sometimes we'll go with a bunch of forwards and 
they will kind of mess around with you as far as the power play goes, but let's just see. Um, I have, I, I don't even have the fifth guy projected, so we'll have to figure out who that would be. Um, well, you know what? Let's go into to the aforementioned uh, uh, Daily Roto and see what they have for their fifth uh, devil in the power play. Um, oh, Jack Hughes. So they have Jack Hughes as the fifth guy in the power play. So why don't we – do I not have him projected for some reason? Yeah, I don't even have him projected. That's interesting. Oh, no, I have just Quinn Hughes projected. <laughs> figured out what's going on here so let's just make sure he's playing yeah, he's playing i don't know why i don't have him on my list all right we'll we'll look into that so nonetheless we'll put in jack hughes and now we have five um and this is really strong and, and at 4200 a man you could definitely make this work you know you could just scan for one-offs and and you know if two of them happen to be on the same team um you could put them in let's let's try it you know, we're probably not going to actually play this, but again, this is about process. Um, let's uh, resort by sheets value score. And we're looking for just 4,300 guys. Um, bunting. Ooh, bunting from Toronto at 1-1. One, one. Ooh, that could be interesting. This is how you get a little exposure to that Toronto game without having to spend all that money for the rest of them. So you get bunting in here, and he's on that first power play. What else? In and you can get another Toronto guy. It's not exactly the same power play, but we talked about him, the, the Engval at 2,600. So that is, a, that is an interesting way to use both Toronto and New Jersey pieces um, and make a perfectly good lineup. Um, so let's just say – or let's just say if they were better. Let's just say if there's 4,000 guys that I can find. I looked at Mantha. Remember him? That uh, was okay. Gustafsson was a good, looked like a good one from uh, Washington as kind of a one off as a defenseman, which makes some sense. So you can, you can make all of this work like really, really easily. Is there a really good 3,600? I can't really. I'm not going to give everything away here, but there, there's not a really great 4,600. There's like a couple of them that are just kind of okay. So you can definitely make a lineup playing five, um, playing five, uh, oh, oh, 3,600 left, sorry. Um, playing five of these guys. Let me see who else could 3,600. Um, I have a 2,600. I got a 3,200 one-offs. Those that are bad. So I'll have to, I'll have to think about that. But for now, we'll just, we'll just kind of hold this lineup together and then we'll, we'll rebuild with, with something else. Okay. So now what we're going to try to do is, is let's try to build with the Toronto side. Okay. Now I have imagined that's going to be a little more, more expensive, but let's just see. Let's see how it see how expensive. So Toronto will go Matthews and then who else do we say? Bunting, right? So this bunting's gonna be, I imagine, pretty popular, but we'll see. Bunting and then Nylander. So if we start with these three, see this Nylander really just makes the whole thing kind of go. Um, so what you could do you could fill out well let's put in our goalie first put in our hero Saros and you get 45-40 for four guys it's a little more difficult but but let's see if we could add another decent Toronto guy from that 1-1 one, one set or something like that just don't see them uh, Tavares is 2-1 so that's something you could do. I mean, you play – so this is what you do. Watch this. So you, you play Tavares, okay? So he's second line, but first power play. So that's something that you can do. I'm trying to think if I want to just go and play that 
other cheapo from Toronto. I hope they get a line switch. Um, probably, you know, it's not bad because he, he rates to be okay in and of himself, an Engvall guy. So we put him in. Then you can get – now you're at 4,500 a man, and you can you can fly, you know? Um, so, yeah, this is this is not a bad way to, to build either. And then if you want, like I said, you can go back and get and get your favorite Devils one off. If you want to compare them that way, whether it be Brat or – man, you get back to this Gustafsson who, who looks like – keeps looking like a good play. You know, so it's the same, it's the same type of thing. Um, so it's up to you. Which one do you like the more? More Devils or Toronto? But I think either of those you could build really, really easily. Okay, so let's then go and into Sabersim and upload our projections there and see what types of lineups and what types of stacks and what type of everything uh Sabersim will construct uh given our um, projections. Now again, we're going to set this to 150 max, which means it's going to build some pretty high upside, high variance type lineups. And let's just see what they look like. I imagine uh, that you're going to get a bunch of the same teams, right? You would think uh, New Jersey and Toronto. Let's see what actually happens. And oh, I never actually inputted them. My bad. So if you just use Saber Sim, you get a whole bunch of Toronto, uh, Washington. But let's 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 go back. We don't want to just use Saber Sim's projections. I mean, not that they're bad, but I mean it's it's much better to do to do it when I put all the models together. It's it's a little more it's a little tight. It's much tighter, except for the fact that I got to get Jack Hughes in there somehow. I don't know what the hell happened. We'll we'll figure it out. Let's take a look. What's going to give me all the Washington? Is that is that the story? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Look at this. You know, I guess because of how good of a play Saros looks like, and this Gustafsson at defense. Uh, but maybe not. There's Strom over there. Let's take a look at what we actually have. Well, this is like a real good one. These Washingtons with the Devils. That's really strong. Um. Let's take a look. Team stacks. Yeah, mostly Washington and then Toronto, Colorado, and the Devils. So it had much more of a priority to play Washington than I did. And definitely got some more Colorado than I did. But they still like the Torontos. So let's take a look at uh, what types of stacks this is based on. So a bunch of four twos again. I don't know why Saberson loves to build these four twos. I prefer the four threes and five twos. So I might go ahead and you know make an adjustment as far as that goes. Like what I might do is something like well, first of all, I don't need these two two twos, right? So get rid of the two two twos. Get rid of the three threes. And you could do that after uh, after you finish building. And I think I I don't want the three zeros. That means three from one team, and that's it, pretty much. Even four zeros, I'm not I'm not a big fan of. It requires you to be too good with your one offs. I'd rather have a three three two than than, than, a, than a flat four, and so many four twos. I think I want to limit these in some way. Let's, I have only twenty eight percent, but I'd rather have four threes in general. So let's let's up this a little bit. I want a little more of the four threes, and then. A little, just a little less of the four twos. I mean, they really want me to have them, so I'll have some, but maybe no more than twenty percent of the four twos. Yeah, so here's a bunch of five twos. Yeah, this is this is what I like to see. And Washington, Toronto, Colorado Devils. All, right, all this is good. Going to get a bunch of the Washington line that that um, you get with Strom, uh, Mantha, the guys we mentioned, Gustafson, and you get you get uh, Ovechkin as well. So what you do is just download these. And if you want to play them, you know, you'll just upload to your DraftKings app or however you do this. 
and then you could just enter it right from there. Um, so we're going to go live at like six or so, um, where hopefully we'll go through more of this. But that's the process. That's the, at least the early, that's the afternoon process. And we have to actually type this up so you get a little, a little bit closer to lock. Um, but until then, uh, this is Sheets saying good luck.